is a track two on our upcoming album, Hellscape, coming to you December 1st, 2022, is a little song called Water Under the Bridge. Second single, second track. Second single, second track. So easy to keep track of. Ha ha. Ha ha. We know what we are. Tell us a little bit about Water Under the Bridge. Tell us about when you first wrote it, um, what inspired it lyrically, who inspired it lyrically, who, who are you thinking of when you uh, sing angrily at the stars? Okay, so, quick disclaimer, I cannot answer for the person I was in 2020. <laughs> I will say that she was very, very angry. I didn't have my phone on me when I wrote the song, or most of the lyrics to it. I was like, literally like, talking to my mom and ranting, and this is, how, this is like my best writing, like, inspiration. Sometimes I like hear myself say something poignant, and I'm like, wait, I gotta write that down. So I just, I just been talking. And my mom sent me like a note, are you nodding? <clears throat> <laughs> I still have your earliest draft of it. Really? That I sent to you, yeah. That's kind of crazy. All my drafts usually get like written over. I get saved. See, mine were all like, especially early, early on. I didn't have any like, um, like void, strictly like recording audio apps. I had the fucking acapella app. <laughs> like, all of the earliest songs from this album that are written by me have graced the acapella app before. Oof. We're not sponsored. But Shout out to acapella, yeah, we're not Shout sponsored. Shout out to acapella, yeah. Are they still doing stuff? I'm pretty I'm sure the app still exists, but I switched over to I have just audio now, so you don't have to look at myself singing it. Like, oh, thank God. Uh, so whenever I finished the song, and I finished the first acapella demo, uh, I was like, man, that's a drive. Yeah, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> I remember feeling like, I can't talk to anyone about this, so I'm gonna write about it. And that's where like a lot of my songs come from, I think. It's just like things that I can't say to people. But then I was like, okay, this one's good. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this, one, this one's good. Like, yes. yeah, this one, I, got, I, I think she's gonna like it enough that she won't be mad at me. And yeah. she did, so. I wasn't mad at all. I literally was like, you better be mad. This is awesome. <laughs> Sydney, tell us, what color is Water Under the Bridge? I think Water Under the Bridge is orange. I think I agree with you. Yeah, like I meant like a prison jumpsuit orange. <laughs> it feels like Bella Swan's um, no, depression the area. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's kind of what it feels like. Absolutely. <laughs> no, no, that's, so that's my answer for what movie it would be in. <laughs> there you go. Like I'm absolutely kissing my own ass by saying that. So this song still has um, one of my favorite lyrics that we have um, in all of our collection, which is, "I've swallowed every pair of scissors in this house to cut off my loose ends." And you know the truth is, yeah. I did actually do that, and uh, yeah. I have the stool samples to prove if anyone's interested. I'm still missing like two different pairs of scissors. Oh yeah, no, every single one. So, And it did nothing to fix my problem, so I would not recommend <laughs> that at all. Thanks for coming to this episode of uh, Behind the Song. Behind the Song. Water Under the Bridge is already out, so you can go listen to it. It was, right our, now, it was our second single, so if you don't know it, like go listen go to listen it. it. Come on. But Swallow stay tuned, Come on. because we're going to have a lot more of these um, Behind the Song episodes in preparation for our upcoming album, Hellscape, which is coming out December 1st, 2022. And you can do what on Spotify now? Pre-save. Pre-save.